So, starting off with Oregon, we got a Electro Claw hidden in meeting that electrifies the trophy wall leading into attic. But for garage, we got something more interesting because you can electrify um, the bunker wall, the elbow wall from outside. So you need to uh, stack yourself in this corner and look outside and aim about this height and you'll be able to uh, hide at the claw in the grass and those little leaves on the outside wall. And this claw will electrify both elbow walls. Pretty much the same concept if you want to electrify e-box walls, you just gotta throw the electro claw a bit further uh, into those leaves. Uh, let me show you where. And it's it's also pretty well hidden and you can electrify e-box that way. If you're playing a uh, meeting kitchen, you can um, electrify the big tower wall from below or even either from above. It's up to you. But more often you will play kitchen dining side, so you definitely want to reinforce and electrify the kitchen wall leading into meeting. On Clubhouse, when you're playing CC and cash, your main focus obviously is the external wall, so you can use two claws to um, electrify this entire main wall, one from the left side above the drone hall and one from the other side in garage right below the floor so it's immune from Kali and any vertical play from lounge. If you want to electrify the cash wall you can do it on two ways I would say. One is pretty simple just hide the claw right in construction uh, in those bars uh, on the ceiling or the other way is to hide the claw in the speakers right in bar stage area. Electrifying garage walls is very easy because all you need to do is place your claws on the catwalk and the numbers 1 and 2 show you the exact position where you need to place your claw just to electrify the walls. For the basement side, you can obviously electrify the hatches. First one in Moro, if you throw it right here on those bricks, you keep it safe from Kali. And in Armory, for the kitchen hatch, you can try to hide the claw in between the beams. It does not guarantee uh, that it's safe from any breaching charges or nades, but it's it's just a good way to, to hide it. When playing gym you get some more possibilities. Of course uh, you can electrify the external wall uh, by the 90 corridor. You can also electrify the single construction wall from also from below. When you're defending bar stage site you can Electrify both the hatch and stuck wall with one claw right here. Or instead you can use both of your claws to electrify both kitchen hallway walls. So that's it for Clubhouse and now we're on to Consulate. So our first spot is electrifying the closet wall from below. And then we move on the garage right away where we want to electrify both of the hatches. First, garage hatch. Uh, you just want to hide the claw by the hatch in the shelf and you electrify the cafeteria hatch in a similar fashion. You just hide the claw in the desk. Keeping the triple wall electrified is not an easy task, but apart from tricking, the best thing you can do is hide the claw in, in between the beams from upstairs so it's not visible from the outside window. If they want to destroy it, they gotta get into piano, but uh, you only electrify two of the walls. 
when it comes down to playing lobby and piano side, uh, you could electrify the bathroom wall because otherwise it could be easily breached by Ace or Havana from outside. But if you play Archive Stellars, which I recommend, you can electrify the visa hatch from the other side of the wall. Now on bank we got a really nice spot for basement hatches. First one, small office. You can easily electrify the hatch by throwing a claw under the desk. For the red hatch you can also hide the electro claw under the desk, but you gotta do it so precise that it's not visible from outside and they would only see it only if they stepped on the hatch which they're not gonna do because uh, they will get zapped but if you want to you can place the claw on the other side of the wall instead in a small office notice that you can also electrify both server walls from above with one claw by the pillar and the other claw in the archives. Coming back to hatches in basement, you can electrify the vault hatch by just throwing a claw on the other side of this wall, so just Kali can get it. For the top floor side, a little trick would be placing an electro claw in this little box that electrifies uh, one of the janitor walls and one of the square walls that is usually reinforced in lower ranks. But when you wanna, of course, focus on the electrifying all of the square walls, you can obviously place both of the claws in archives uh, below the walls, so you can electrify all of them. Moving on to archive teller's site, you can electrify both teller's walls from below. So first claw would go in laundry so that electrifies the main hallway wall and the other claw would go to a vault on the ceiling to electrify the wall by the reception. If you find yourself playing open area kitchen you can electrify the small office hatch by just placing the claw right next to it on the shelf. And now we're on canal so right here you can electrify the main wall from below, but you can do it so you also catch one of the walls on the side. When playing the kayak supply, you can electrify the single wall by trench with the claw in supply room. And you can electrify the hatch with the claw in the kayaks uh, that you hide behind the kayak. Now you can play map room security. So you want to electrify the hatch, so hide the claw behind this box and they will never find it. If you don't want to run upstairs you can do it the same way as in kayaks, with the claw on the other side of the wall and you electrify the hatch. Apart from the hatch you can electrify the single wall that leads into the connector and you can do it from outside with the claw right below the floor. So now we're in chalet where we have a claw hidden behind the wooden bar so it's not visible for a twitch drone coming from K9 and the claw keeps wall electrified uh, when attackers are not very precise with their impact EMP. And you can use the other claw to electrify the solar wall from below. After master bedroom office site, you should play kitchen dining and there electrify the trophy wall with a with the electro claw in garage. And you use the other claw the same way with the dining wall. So in wine cellar, you just place the claw in this exact position and you can get all three walls in dining. And then you can play basement where you want to electrify your hatches. For example, kitchen hatch with the claw from outside. And you can do the same exact thing with the connector hatch. But if you don't have bandit, you of course want to electrify the walls. So first one, snowmobile wall with the claw above the wall. And of course the classic, which is electrifying the wine wall with a claw hidden in a dining table. Now 
we're in cafe where we want to start off with electrifying all six freezer walls from below. So first claw will be placed right here and it will electrify three walls, two in bar and one in freezer. And the other claw placed not far from it will electrify three other walls in freezer. Moving on to the kitchen now, I just want you to notice that you can electrify all two freezer walls and a hatch with one single claw. And in prep you can place your claw right here, so Kali won't get it from outside and it will be way trickier for Twitch to find it. So your third side would be reading fireplace, so you can el electrify the reading walls with a uh, claw above the whiskey bar. And in a similar way you can electrify the fireplace wall with a claw in the freezer. Now on border we're gonna start off with of course a claw in the supply room that electrifies the uh, main wall on archives army site. To make sure that your single archives wall is electrified, you can use the claw down in bathroom. On a ventilation workshop site, you want to make sure you keep your hatches electrified. So in Armory's little office, you can hide the claw uh, beneath the desk. And in archives, you can surprisingly do the same thing. After that you're probably playing bathroom tellers, there's not really much you can do right here but for example you can uh, hide the claw in the drone hole and electrify the single wall which I say is pretty good for attackers to breach and enter. And in bathroom you can uh, place the claw on the other side of the bathroom wall so they might have a bit harder time to get the claw with Kali or whatever. If you want to play customs and supply instead, you can electrify one of the external walls with a claw on the other side of this window, but you'd probably want to use the claws for both hatches. Uh, so on the first hatch in security, you just hide it uh, in the boxes, but the other hatch gets a bit crazier since you're gonna do a little bit of a run out at the beginning of the round and throw the claw in this exact spot and this will get the hatch, the other hatch, in a security room. And now we're on Skyscraper, which is one of my favorites for Kaid. You can electrify the external office wall on a few different ways. Uh, first one, you can electrify each wall with one claw. Uh, which first one would be uh, hidden in the desk and the other one would be in lounge on the other side of the soft wall. But if you want to save one claw you can just place one uh, very high on the wooden beam so it gets the wall and it's uh, very tricky to get with Kali or Impact EMP. But if you have a bit more time in the prep phase, you can go downstairs to the closet and place the claw right, right behind this small wall so it's just hidden from the outside window and electrify the external wall. Although exhibition office site also has other walls, so you can electrify them, for example the wall leading to a terrace and the other wall is the one that leads to a dragon. And now you can play bedroom bathroom side, which is really good by the way. And you can electrify the hatch in office by hiding the claw in the shelf that's next to it. But this is the spot that I like even more, because uh, you hide the claw right beneath this couch and it electrifies the bathroom wall. And now on the barbecue side, which is also better than karaoke by the way, um, you, you probably want to electrify the geisha hatch so you can do it with this claw. 
but if you're not really into hiding the claw, just notice that you can get uh, two of these walls and th uh, the hatch with one single claw. But we got some spots for karaoke tier room as well. For example, you can electrify the tier room wall by throwing two claws on both sides behind this small walls. It's kind of a waste, but it's worth noticing. Instead, you can just place the claw uh, below the wall like a normal person. You also probably want to prevent attackers from entering into Geisha, so this claw in Pantry uh, electrifies the single external wall in Geisha. But if attackers enter Geisha, uh, you want to prevent them from entering from Geisha into Karaoke, therefore you use this claw to electrify the double wall leading into Karaoke. It's time for coastline. I know Kite's probably not your first pick on this map, but you can still do some things like uh, going down to blue bar and electrifying three out of four walls. Uh, when playing hookah, you can also reinforce your vase position by uh, electrifying two reinforced walls around the hookah door. Or if you want to, you can electrify the two VIP walls to prevent the common angle into billiards. When playing the kitchen service site, if you don't expect any top floor clear, you can place your claw uh, in the 90 upstairs and it will electrify all three walls in service. The same idea with the other claw, you place it upstairs on the floor in VAP and it electrifies th three out of four walls in kitchen. Now we have a claw spot that is finally useful on this map and it's about electrifying all three walls in penthouse. Depending on where you expect enemies coming from you can also do it from the other side in kitchen, but the claw needs to be very precise there. And the other wall, which is also very crucial to the to the site, that is a theater wall right next to white stairs, because it could be really easily breached from the outside window. And just to make this video even longer, I'm gonna assume you're gonna play Blue Bar Sunrise and you want to electrify the office bloober wall with this claw. Sure, you may use the claw in the office be uh, below the desk or hide it in the uh, wine bottle shelf, but it only gets one of the walls. And remember, there's a hatch above the sunrise, so you can electrify it with a claw hidden in this little fridge and now we're on theme park where you can use two claws to electrify the yellow wall just to make sure that it's that it stays close and the bandit can trick the other walls in a throne instead you can electrify the split hatch by hiding the claw in the vending machine upstairs um this one's kind of useless, but maybe makes uh, for Bandit a job a bit easier. You can hide the claw above those barrels, so you electrify one of the barrels walls. But if you want to do something wild, you can do a run out from maintenance and throw a claw into the grass and it will electrify one of the maintenance walls. We move on to Bunk Daker now where you can pretty much electrify all the walls from the bottom floor. First claw in lab will electrify three out of four walls in Daker. The claw in the throne room will take care of the bunk initiation wall and it needs to be very precise if you wanna include one of the break room walls. 
But overall, the class is also useful for the initiation of a site. This other claw in throne room will electrify the other initiation wall that leads into control. In office we get the other set of walls and this claw in the hallway will get the office cache wall. The other office wall on the west side is pre pretty easy to get because you can ping it for yourself because you have time for that and you just do it with a claw below. So if you need to see something crazy again you can do this run out from toilets and those leaves outside on this wall are your target and you throw a claw there and that's how you electrify the single vault wall. Now let's hop on villa and begin with two claws beneath the floor that take care of the study walls. First claw in piano room, it electrifies uh, the aviator walls and the other claw in the hallway takes care of the uh, gaming room walls. On aviator game site, we also have one single wall in vault that we can easily electrify with a claw hidden between uh, the vault doors and the brick wall. Now when playing trophy statue side you can use one claw in dining room to electrify the triple wall in statue. Uh, then you can use your other claw to electrify the triple wall between bathroom and closet. Lastly for the dining kitchen side we got a claw hidden in this cabinet that electrifies the single wall in kitchen. We got another claw as well, this time in the basement, that electrifies the double wall leading to laundry. And since you're probably gonna extend into a memorial, you definitely want to use this claw to electrify two memorial walls leading into the hallway. And our last electro claw in basement is the one that electrifies the wall between dining and china. And now we're on Outback, so there's not a lot of places here for the claws, but the first one is very basic to uh, electrify the external wall in dorms f with the claw from below. When you're playing green and red bedroom, you definitely want to electrify the hatch in piano. So you can do it with a claw outside hidden in those leaves. If attackers uh, are coming up those stairs, they might easily miss it. But if they're not even coming up those stairs, they're never going to find it. And this spot is sort of useless because it only gets one wall. but. The claw is uh, outside and still pretty well hidden, so I just want to leave it up here. And if you're unfortunately forced to play party and office site, you can electrify the garage wall from below. The other wall is important as well, so go down to kitchen and use this claw to electrify three out of four walls by the bull. And of course we have the claw in waiting room for the external wall in connector. And here we are on Emerald Plains. I've heard it's your favorite map so since people usually start with the admin office site you can use this claw in the pool room to electrify all three walls in the green hallway. When you're playing admin office site, you definitely should extend into meeting, so you can use this claw in the hallway on the first floor to electrify the walls from meeting that lead into gallery. I honestly don't know why you would do this, but you can use this claw right here to electrify the single external wall in admin. On kitchen dining there's not really 
any crazy stuff you can do but just notice that with this single claw you can get those two walls and they hatch. If you're playing solo and your terrible teammates have chosen to play private gallery site you can at least use this claw to electrify the external wall and this other claw in bathroom will electrify the walls in the gallery that lead into orange hallway I would say and that's this one's quite important because otherwise this wall could be easily breached from outside of the window. As well for uh, gallery meeting side if you're not extending into admin or office you can use this clone lounge to electrify the wall between meeting and admin and this other claw will get the uh, wall between office and meeting. And now we're on stadium bravo and this claw just like on border gets the main wall in armory archive site. Your other claw will be in server room that will get all three walls in archives. When you're playing penthouse and VAP site, you can use two electro claws in kitchen hallway to electrify two sets of walls around the VAP doorway. One claw gets one set and the other claw gets the other set of walls. Our last map, Night Haven Labs. Right here we're gonna have some more spots for electro claws and the first one is in control room and it electrifies all three top warehouse walls. I believe you also want to electrify the external wall in IT so you can even do it from outside. If you throw it outside this window you don't even need to run out, it will get the wall. When playing the commander side I also like to extend out into connector room so you want to probably electrify the external wall that is in this connector room but if you're not a fan of this idea you can just reinforce the server wall and you can electrify it with this claw and lounge basement is as well a very good site and i just want you to notice that if you throw a claw very high up on the wall attackers won't be able to get it with the vertical play. When playing the kitchen side it's all up to you if you want to reinforce the small next kitchen closet but you can easily electrify it with a claw below it. The cafeteria wall on this side is very crucial as well so you can electrify it with a claw not, for, not far from the first one and exit it. I think storage control is a very good side, so you should try playing it and you can easily electrify all of the walls with a, an electro claw. For example, this single wall leading to lounge can be easily electrified with a claw hidden behind boxes. You can for example electrify the cargo wall as well with a claw from below. When you're playing this side, you're probably holding warehouse as well so this claw in basement can electrify the external warehouse wall.